Hey everyone, welcome to video what, 5 in my series. This one's going to be on Boolean operations, normal and pro. Um, to start off, I'm going to go over something just real quick here, which is really handy if you're trying to learn out what certain things do, or if you're working on something more complex. Um, it is the hold and fetch option. When I was new, I, I didn't know about this at all, but later on it saved me a lot of grief. Essentially what this does is create a mini like save state. Um, so for example, I have this little scene right here saved. Um, if I just started like dicking around with it, let me see. Uh, moving this around, uh, moving this over here, this over here, but then it's like, oh no, I didn't want to do that and say if I don't have enough, I did so much that un that like control Z, you know, undo it didn't record back that far you're kind of screwed but if you just went up here edit hold it would save whatever scene you currently have so like that default scene that you saw when I first started I had that set as hold and then I just hit fetch about to fetch okay and then bam it just tosses everything right back where you were I just thought I'd toss that in as an extra handy little thing anyways getting into boolean here Got this little scene set up. I'm going to select the uh, little box rectangle thing I have in the back here. Uh, compound objects. Boolean. Now what this does is this is setting this box over here as the Boolean object. You can see it over here in operands. Uh, box 001 is operand A. From there, you're going to want to pick operand B. And these little options here just... Uh, relate to how it transfers to the boolean object. Um, that's kind of more detailed stuff. It doesn't really matter. Just like reference, copy, instance, move. I mean, you guys should know that by now just from when I went over a little bit in the other video. Um, by default, these are the settings that you see right over here. Uh, subtraction A minus B. So you got object A, and then it's going to minus object B. So if I pick that, you can see it's cutting right out the center there. Do, do that again, circle, you can see it just cuts right out. And then there's tons of different options here. Union, if you look up in one of these other boxes, you can see it just kind of joins them here on the outside, but doesn't change any of the inside geometry there. Uh, intersection. Uh, this deletes everything except where the two objects intersect. Uh, subtraction B minus A. Um, oops. Of course, you know, then it takes B and then minuses A from it, which then creates this little slice through that there. Um, cut. Now, this does things a little different. Um, refine will add uh, vertex and edges. Split kind of doubles that to kind of really make it detailed. Um, let me go over something real quick here. Refine. I'll just kind of show you here. You see, it just kind of makes a little cut here, and you can see up in the uh, wireframe. You can see where it cuts. Um, it's not too detailed. Um, of an object, so you're not going to really notice much of a difference between refine and split, but if you had something really detailed, you'd notice. Remove inside. It will just kind of remove the inside, but if you look, it, it, it's kind of hard to see, but it did not cap the edges there, so it's not like a normal subtraction cut. This area along here is completely open. And then you have remove outside, which you know just removes everything outside of where that cut was made. Let's see, fetch this again, go back. And oops. No, I did not want to buy a mesh. Boolean. Um then you have display update down here. Um, this really just 
shows exactly what's going on. Uh, the result. Wait, what do I have as? Ah. Oh, I saw that as cut derp. Uh, result, operand, uh, result, and hidden. So, I mean, you can see up here in the wireframe exactly how that differs. Um, update, that, that's just a, if you're doing a different type, um, it would go through uh, whether or not you want the screen updated. Uh, you can do it automatically, only when rendering, or manually. Uh, that just has to do if you're doing a lot of really complex stuff where it would take a long time to cut everything out. Um, but I'm going to say right now, Boolean is fine for simple stuff like this, but for anything more complex, you're going to want to use ProBoolean because it's a lot more advanced. In fact, I'm surprised they even still have Boolean in it. Um, because you'll see sometimes when you're, if you're cutting out geometry, you'll see like weird like cuts that are made in, in addition around it in the wireframe screen, or if you have edged, edged faces on. Uh, Pro Boolean just is better. It's a little different though. Let me see, let's go back. What did I create a, oh, uh, fetch. And I'll reselect this and we'll go to Pro Boolean. This one's a little different in, um, in Boolean, you could only select one object. In this one, you just have start picking, and you can select as many objects as you want to start cutting out. Um, it has the same options here, move, reference, copy, instance. A bit more different options down here in parameters. It says, uh, you know, union, intersection, um, as before, but also has merge, attach, and insert, which some of them kind of work the same, um can see in the wireframe exactly what it's doing. If you look at attach there, uh, or merge, let me see, go back. Attach, it really just kind of sticks it right in without adding any extra geometry. Uh, insert. Um, okay, it kind of lapses from my memory now, but the difference between merge and insert is if you... If you look at how it looks kind of different, in one of them, it makes a, a cut in the center. And in the other one, it doesn't. I forget which is which, but I, I can't think of a situation where it would actually matter. Um, imprint and cookie. Uh, let me see. Uh it has to do with cutting and like an outline and a face, like uh, like on the other one. If you if you saw oh, what option was that? Um, the the cut options. That that's kind of what the imprint and the cookie do. Um, I'm not sure why this will work. Can't remember which one is which. There, uh, imprint. There you can see just the lines, and then with cookie can see there you got the you don't have the cap in there you can see inside through the, the geometry so that's what that does um, display result operands um, kind of as before um, apply material this works if actually let me bring this up real quick if I had, say, two different materials here, I'll just make this red and, oops, blue, just so it's really easy to see. Like this red, this blue. Now, if I apply the material when I'm subtracting, oops, result, you can see that the inside material there is now the same material as what I cut out with. So if you don't want that, you just go to retain original and there's that. Um, down here, uh, this is just the selection for uh, changing operations. Um, 
So I have I have it, it subtract right now. If I wanted it to merge, I would do that. Then hit change operation, insert change operation, and that's how you do that in this one. Whereas in the other one, you could just click through it. Uh, sub object operations. You'll notice this is grayed out. You actually have to go over into um, the modify tab and then set it from here. And then you'll notice you can select that. Um, that'll just extrude copies or instances of whatever object you have selected there um, for if you need them for any other reason. Um, I suppose if you're doing like a bunch of different cuts or something. And then down here, advanced options, you know, updating. Uh, it's the same thing as before. Uh, quadrilateral, this, that, that, I'll probably go into something a little more advanced with this later, but you can see the deformation here when that happens. Um, I think if I, if I talk about that more, I'll go into something of that on the side. But for now, you get how uh, an idea of how this works. Um, I'm actually going to hit reset here. Oops, no, I don't want to save. And just kind of go over something really simple, like the guy who was uh, working on that knife earlier. Um, I was actually going to model one earlier and then just kind of do it exactly like through the tutorial except doing it like this instead of floating geometry but another way you would want it you would be able to do that is say go into extended primitives and make a capsule which is a lot easier than how it shows in that tutorial with making the the sphere and everything so if I just took this brought it up and just kind of slightly stick it in like that. Maybe squish it. Oh, this way a bit. So it's not sticking out as much. Look at it more over here in this side. And just stick it right in there about halfway. Granted, this isn't exactly what it looked like in the uh, tutorial, but close enough. Um, compound objects, pro boolean, subtraction, pick, bam. And there you would have like a nice little cutout like that. So that's how, that's how you do it in this. So you don't have to fool around with... Uh, creating just the illusion of something being cut out. Um, if there's something I didn't go over in this that you have question about, if if I wasn't clear enough with something, uh, let me know. I can do a little side video or just comment. Um, if you have any more ideas for videos, let me know. I know some people are already posting ideas, so I'm kind of making a list. Um, I guess that's it for now. See you.